Hello. Okay. Uh, my name is Jesus Ruiz Abad. I'm from the English tent 4515, and this is the first of a series of language drops designed to help you to improve your skills, your English skills. And the first language drops is about is the first the first language drop is about countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, let's move on. What are the learning objectives of this language drop? All the students should be able to explain what a countable and uncountable noun is. All students also should be able to identify countable and uncountable nouns. And all students should be able to understand and apply the spelling rules with 100% accuracy. Okay, some nouns are countable and some nouns nouns are uncountable. Right? Right. If there is only one we're talking about singular noun, we use a or an in front of it. A lemon and apple. Uh, if the word starts with a consonant, we will use a. And if the word starts with an, a vowel, then we'll use an. If there is more than one plural noun, we usually add an s at the end of the noun. For example, apple, apples. Lemons, lemons. Fine. Let's move on. I want to show you now. I want to show you now some real life examples from movies of the expression an apple. Let's check it out. Apple. Or an apple martini. Is that an apple pie? And we have an apple. You want an apple? Are you sure this isn't an apple store or something? I don't know. Worse than that, you take a pipe and you put an apple on your head and the other guy a shotgun. But a talking snake made a lady eat an apple, so we're screwed. It's all I mean. Intellect. An apple for Simon Foster. Do you want an apple? Or do you want an orange? You better hope nobody puts an apple in his mouth. Oh, now, in my case, you had to holler out loud. Me laying on a slab in two pieces, sewed back together with some nigga done tried to call me like an apple. I want an apple bread and jelly. Um, chocolate sprinkles and um, a bear claw too. Snakey is an apple on my head. Yes, you are. This is the cover. Of I'm going camping. I'm bringing an apple, a banana, and a chinchilla. Okay. Those were some examples from uh, the use of N, 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 uh, as I told you before, an apple, because apple starts with a vowel. Every word that starts with a vowel, we will use, then we will use the article with an. Okay? Now, let's check out this other one. This, rem this uh, makes reference to real life example uh, from the movies with lemons. Lemons is the plural. Okay? So let's check this out. Pay attention, please. 20 real lemons. Why do you use lemons? Then you slice the lemon. You should try lemons for the morning sickness. Why just lemons say that that was a Lemons, that's what it is. That's what Lemonade, utter lemons. Stay focused, we can do this. Nice name, by the way. Lovely lemons. That is, it's your last name. Lovely lemons, that's a name. Tastes like lemons, but smells like shit. Among them, lit like lanterns, were Hans and Rosa, her brother, and the boy whose hair remained the color of lemons forever. Yeah, well, I call it tomatoes, 
lemons, and I know that's wrong. So, those were real examples from movies using a plural, plural noun, uh, lemon, lemons with the S. Okay, let's move on. That's, that was for the countable nouns, but we also have uncountable nouns, which are nouns we cannot or do not count. They're always in the singular form, so we never use a or an with them. However, we can use quantity words with them. Example, a bag of, a cup of. Fine. So let's check some real samples from movies with the use of a bag of. Pay attention, please. Okay. Can you help me carry a bag? I got a bag. I got a bag, okay? They're like a bag of tiny diamonds. My friend's got a bag full of explosives. There's a bag of lime in the basement. It's half empty. Half a key of baking soda into a bag. We're going to the bag and make three phone calls. Should have gone over there. You, you saw a bag of money. You want it. Give me a bag. What's up? Oh, you look like a bag of... In a minute, I have a little bag of jelly beans over here. No, this isn't a bag, sir. So. I said, sir, we got a nutcase with a bag full of guns. And... Oh, my God, a bag full of tape right here. Get your bag okay. of... In the meantime, it'd be great if you could pack a bag of necessities. <laughs> okay, so those were some real-life examples from the movies. And it's the expression, a bag of... Keeping on uncountable nouns, if we want to talk about quantity, then we use the phrase how much. Example, how much sugar do you want in your tea? Now, I want you to check out this real life examples from movies of the expression how much. Pay attention, please. How much? How much to turn it back on? How much beer? How much you will? How much more? How much is this And how much do you trust me? How much is your rent? How much? How much in total? How much? How much does the girl know? How much? How much you own for him? How much money you got? 42 cool bags and 3 postage. How much is that check for? Uh, seriously, how much money you How much money you got? How much time do we have? It's of interest to me how much you seem to know about that world. How much loneliness taken on? How much here? How much do you want? Okay. So those were real life examples from movies about the expression how much. Well, that was it for today. That was all for today. Uh, this is the first language drop. I'm Jesus Rizabad from the English tent 4515 and I want you to thank you and I'll see you in the next language drop. Okay? Bye bye.